Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about a topic that has obviously been going on for a while now and that is the coronavirus outbreak or the COVID-19 and I asked you guys on my Instagram if you guys wanted me to make a separate sit down video explaining everything there is to know about the COVID-19 and most of you replied or responded to me saying that you do want this video and I completely understand that because currently with this entire pandemic there has been a lot of information that's been going around which is either misleading or not completely true or completely false and for that reason I want to just clear the air and give you all this information in one video all the information that you need to know so that you don't have any gaps in your knowledge about the COVID-19 and any aspects about the disease itself. So let's get right to it. COVID-19 basically stands for, for the Coronavirus Disease 2019 and that's what it's short for, the COVID-19. And it's basically referring to this disease or this pandemic that has been going around. So the COVID-19 refers to a disease, an infectious disease that is caused by a virus called the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, Coronavirus 2. So this is the virus or the strain of virus that causes the COVID-19. Now, it is popularly known as the coronavirus, but what you should know is that the coronavirus refers to a family of viruses. So it's a very broad term that refers to multiple strains of this family. The so SARS coronavirus 2 is one of the strains of this coronavirus family that causes the COVID-19. Now, usually bats are the reservoir for this virus and it does not really cause disease in bats. However, when it is transmitted to to human beings that is when it starts showing signs and symptoms of the disease the very first human case that was detected was in December of 2019 in Wuhan in China and before you know it the virus had spread to other countries as well now it has become a pandemic which is a worldwide problem The symptoms of COVID-19 can include the symptoms that are involved with any other common cold and therefore the main symptoms that you would have are a fever, cough and probably some shortness of breath. But you can also get other symptoms of a viral illness like muscle aches, generalized fatigue, abdominal pain, a productive cough because usually in COVID-19 you expect to get a dry irritant cough but sometimes you might also have a productive cough. So when you have any of these symptoms and you have a suspicion that you were in contact with someone who was suffering from COVID-19, then you should probably have a high suspicion for having the COVID-19 and get yourself checked. For most of us who get infected with the COVID-19, the symptoms might be very mild and manageable at home and by yourself. But there are some individuals and some groups of the population who might get a serious illness where their infection might go into a viral pneumonia or even worse an ARDS and this is where uh, hospitalization becomes inevitable and maybe even ventilatory support might be required. Now how does the disease or the virus spread? The virus is said to spread mainly by droplet infection and it is not airborne, which means that when someone who's infected or has the COVID-19 sneezes or coughs without covering their mouth and you happen to be on the receiving end of these droplets, you inhale these droplets, that is the main way that you can get infected with the virus. Also, if there is furniture or surfaces that are infected with these droplets, like tables, chairs, by you touching them and touching your eyes, nose or mouth or any part of your face before you sanitize or wash your hands, is also another way that you can get infected. Now, once you get infected with the virus, there is an incubation period where the virus starts to replicate within your body. And during this time, you may not show symptoms, but you can still transmit the virus to other individuals. This incubation period can vary from two days up to 14 days and it averages to about five days. And this is why you probably have heard that if you are in contact with someone with the COVID-19, that you should self-quarantine yourself for at least 14 days, because that is 
seem to be the maximum of the incubation period where you may not show symptoms or you only begin to show symptoms. So by self-quarantining yourself, you prevent yourself from transmitting the virus to other individuals, especially those who may be immunocompromised or who might not be able to take the infection as well as you when you're still not showing symptoms. So the COVID-19 is basically tested by a nasopharyngeal swab that you take and you send it for what is known as RT-PCR, so the reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction. This is currently the best way to test for the COVID-19. Now, what are the precautions you should take in order to prevent yourself from contracting the disease or getting infected by the virus? Now, there are several things that you can do by yourself in a day-to-day -day basis in order to prevent contracting the disease. Now, the first thing is social isolation. Now, try to stay home as much as possible. And you probably see these memes everywhere that says stay home and these posters that say stay home and be safe. There's a reason for that. By staying home, you are not only preventing yourself from getting the virus, but even if you are a carrier of the virus and you're not showing any major symptoms, you prevent transmitting that virus to the public and to other individuals who might not take the infection as well as you. If you have to go outside, let's say for the basic necessities like groceries, make sure you maintain a social distancing with people that you see outside. So that is said to be at least a safe distance of one meter from everyone around you. Also, make sure that you're wearing a face mask because as I mentioned before, the virus is transmitted by droplets of infected individuals. So wear a mask at all times so you prevent inhaling these droplets and you also prevent putting out these droplets if you are in fact infected with the COVID-19 and you don't show frank symptoms. Another thing to do, a good thing to do is wearing gloves clean gloves that you are wearing outside. And obviously, while you're wearing the gloves, do not touch your face or anything else that's on your body. Make sure you throw the gloves before you leave the place. And of course, I cannot stress enough how important it is to sanitize your hands. Now, the best thing for you to do is wash your hands. Washing your hands as frequently as possible for at least 20 seconds each time is the best way to clean your hands. If you don't have facilities to wash your hands, that frequently at least make sure you sanitize your hands every now and then especially if you're outside i hope this information has added to your already existing knowledge about the covid 19 and about the coronavirus family itself and please let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions or any further queries about the coronavirus or the covid 19 specifically and i will be more than happy to answer your questions down there